Okay, so now we're gonna demonstrate the um, safe word haircut um, using the razor and the shears. And we're gonna start by draping. I forgot to drape her. I'm gonna drape her right now. You have 30 minutes. She'll already be draped, but. But, I'll stop there. But for our individual, after we have our 30 minutes. I just messed that up. I'm gonna say, you have 30 minutes to complete the hair cutting section of this examination. You'll be observed for client protection, safety infection control procedures. You'll be informed when you have 15 minutes remaining, you may begin. Anytime I say you may begin, you sanitize your hands. And then if I drape, she'll be, if you've had time to drape her in your two minutes, then she's draped. If not, then go proceed to drape her. But remember, in our first assessment, it'll only be a two minute. Two minute drape, okay? And then you wanna make sure that you maintain your drape at all time, the cape never touches the client's skin, okay? Remember that. Okay, and hopefully she stays, because it's always nice when it stays. It's always so much better. Okay, so I continue draping her, and now I'm gonna sanitize my hands, and now I'm gonna section her. And remember how I said I'm gonna section her? I'm gonna section her ear to ear. So, this one over. Let's see. So I'll turn her sideways like this. We'll go like this for that. So ear to ear, get this out of the way. Ear to ear, get the front and the sides. And then since I'm back here, I'm going to take out my half inch sub party here since I'm already here. At state board, they don't want you moving around too much, so you just kind of want to stay in your three mile, three foot radius. Okay, and then just on the top right here, we're just gonna part right here. Here, and here, and then straight up. And Patricia, don't worry about making it perfect on your partings. And then I'm gonna clip this. And don't take a lot of time to part the hair off. Just section it. One, two. Out of the way, however. And then three. Okay, so now and now I'm going to start my haircut in a minute after I get this part down. This part over. Okay. All right, so here we go. Let's turn her around. Sorry about the, the scraping noise. I know that sounds awful. Okay. So my first subsection is a half inch subsection. I want it to be even. <clears throat> okay. So there you go. There's my first half inch subsection, if you guys can see. And then I'm gonna start my hair cut. So I'm gonna sanitize my hands just because I'm I'm pretending that I'm nervous, but I'm really not. But you know, if you don't know what to do, sanitize your hands. I was just demonstrating that for you. Okay, here we go. I have my razor. Remember your razor is thumb, ring, finger, tang. Okay, thumb, ring, finger, tang. Thumb, ring, finger, tang. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure, let's see. I'm gonna move this one over here. Maybe you can see better. There, that works. Okay, and so I'm gonna start with my um, number one. So somebody wanna read number one to me? Okay, so here we go, straight down, center, and then it's a glide. Okay, you take at least one inch off. One inch, one inch. Center, remember, put one knee in front of the other. Balance your weight, center left, back to the right. Okay, so there's my first subsection, done. Now I'm gonna take down the next subsection. Half inch, so. Second half inch subsection. Okay. And then I'm gonna comb under, just the middle part. Can you guys see? Under, and then over for smooth, and then bring it down. There's my guide, so I'm gonna bring my fingers past my guide, see my elevation? and I'm gonna cut over my fingers with my razor, and I'm gonna glide. 
Okay, center left, back to the right, at least an inch, remember? Same amount of elevation as I go across. Bring my fingers down. Same amount of elevation. You need to pay attention so it'll be even all the way across. So center left, same amount of elevation. I'm gonna bring my fingers right below the guide. Try to use the same tension all the way across when you're using, when you're doing any haircut. So that's my second subsection. So I'm gonna take down my next subsection and it's gonna be the same thing. Half inch subsection. With elevation, this is my third. So I'm gonna start in the center. And my elevation. And you guys see my guide, and I'm gonna put my fingers below my guide, and I'm gonna cut using my razor over my fingers. Okay? Wide. Center. Below my fingers. Wide. Center left. Wide. Back to the right. And go under, over if you need to get it smooth. Under, over. Okay, so now I'm, I'm taking down my fourth subsection. For me, I've always taught, right, don't go any higher than the ear, but I've always taught four subsections. So I'm not gonna change it now. I am just gonna let you know that it is optional to do the fourth one with the razor. If you want, you could put your razor away now, but I'm not used to doing it that way, so I'm not going to. I'm not gonna get docked either way. If I do this fourth section with the razor or the shears, I'm not gonna get docked. So under, over, bring my fingers below the guide, same amount of elevation, and then glide. Center, make sure it's not higher than your ears. I'll show you in a minute. Make sure it has the same elevation, left, and then back to the right. Under, over, Okay, so now for me, I'm done with my razor and I'm gonna put it back on my SMA and I'm gonna get my shears. And now I'm gonna take down my next half inch step party. Okay, I mean, I, I took a little more than a half inch. I took about an inch now, I'm sorry. I'm, uh, taking a, I'm taking a good inch on the sub party. And then I'm gonna bring it out horizontal just like I did with the razor, but I'm gonna do it with the shears. So watch how I do that. So center, and then get all the hair. And see just that little bit here? That's, that's, about, that's still an inch. I'm gonna cut it with the shears. Remember, don't cut past your second knuckles. Don't forget to palm your shears. Center, and then the same amount of elevation all the way across. I've got that little bit right there, little there. Left. Same amount of elevation. Don't cut past your second knuckle so you don't get a blood spill and, so, and it also changes the tension. Center left, back to the right. So this is my fifth subsection. My first one with the shears. Make sure you do it the same way all the way across. Okay, and now I have one more subsection. So, and you guys are allowed to prepare your doll head for a sleep work. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna comb it under. And what I'm doing is preparing this haircut. And then over, and then I hardly have anything to cut, but I'm just gonna clean it up. Same amount of elevation. Clean it up, make sure I don't have any stragglers from the razor, because you know how that goes. And then there we go. Okay, so I'm done with the back. So what did I say to do next? We are number, number seven, take down sides. I'm gonna do the top. So I'm going to take down the left, right side, get out of my way, and the left side, right side, left side, yeah, I got it right. And then, what am I going to do? Remember I said I was going to bring them back? Well, I am. I'm going to bring it down. So you just bring it down and slightly back. Just keep, you stand behind your doll head. If you stand behind your doll head, and I just have that much to cut, this will be an easy task. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. I'm gonna comb it down and then I'm gonna bring it slightly back. 
I'm gonna have just a little bit on this side, and then I'm gonna check on both sides to make sure they're even. So I'll just turn it towards me. And we're good. So remember, if your guidelines aren't even, your haircut won't be even. So now I'm gonna take out the sides on both sides. I'm gonna turn her to the side. I already have my guideline, so if I turn her to the side and cut her, it's not gonna to be too short. It's just that first initial guideline cut. So I'm gonna cut that with a... Okay, so now I'm done with the back, with my razor. And the, top, the back and the side. So now where do I go? I only have left is my top, right? So I'm gonna adjust her doll head, as you guys can see. Um, see how her neck is... Um, not being protected from if the cape is touching the skin. <clears throat> so I'm gonna make sure that the, the cape never touches the skin. So by doing that, I'm gonna redrape her. Okay. All right, so now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the top. <clears throat> and I'm going to take just a little bit out. Remember the little triangle section I, I always used to make on the top? Just so I don't have too square of a front because it's ugly, people don't like their square fronts. So I'm just gonna make a little guideline in front. So let me see my, my triangle on the top. Oh, there it is. Well, that, that one you can't see is good. Okay, I'm gonna put her back. This is my guideline for my top. Hold on a second. There we go, all right, it was coming and done. I don't want to flop it on the floor. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring it straight down and then I'm just gonna cut one inch. And so now I'm gonna, so see how I'm standing on the side of her? So I'm gonna comb her forward. I can turn her this way or this way. So I'll, I'll hold it this way and then I'll bring it straight up. <clears throat> Again, there's my guide there, so I'm gonna cut. Okay. And then since I'm on this side right here, I'm going to take this next piece on this right side, whatever side I'm on, and then I'm going to turn around and I'm going to do the piece on the left side, whatever side I'm on. It's probably opposite to you guys. And so see my guide under there, and then I'm just going to find my guide and cut. Okay. All right, so since I'm this way, I'm gonna take half of the hair on the side. She's facing the wall, I'm on the side of her, and I'm gonna bring it straight up to that guide right there. So, so half of it, so there's ha, 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 and then I'm standing right in front of my client, and I'm bringing it straight up, okay? And then straight up. And then I have one more piece, so I'm gonna do the same thing. Just bring it straight up. There's nothing to cut, so I'm gonna just clean it up barely, comb it down, do the same thing to the other side. So break this falling again. And I'm gonna take half of the hair on the side. I'm gonna add it to the top. Bring it straight up. Make sure she doesn't have any hair in her face. Just comb it out of her way. Okay, and then there's my guy. There's my guy. Oh, shoot. Let me step back just a bit. There we go, just a little bit more. Sorry. I'll bring it down so you guys can see it. There's my guide. Okay. And then I have one more piece on the side. I'm gonna bring it up. So everything is prepared and I am, I'm 14 minutes in, but, and I'm just about done with this haircut. I have 30 minutes. Of course, I've been doing this a while, so of course it's gonna take me a lot less time. But I'm, I'm pretty much done. Like if she said you're done, you would be pretty much okay with your haircut. You'd be, you'd be okay if you, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna face her away from me. I'm gonna stand behind her like this. And this is where the tricky part comes in, okay? So I'm behind her and we're gonna start in the center. So let me show you. Brandy, are you watching? and then bring it straight out from the head. So remember, lay my comb and my fingers follow. Remember, we already cut all this. We pretty much already cut all this, so we just have a tiny bit right there. 
So we're just gonna go right here to the middle. And now we're going up to the crown. Lay, lay my comb, fingers follow. There's just a little bit right there. A little bit right there. My fingers are parallel from the head. Lay my comb, fingers follow. I don't know why I don't have much hair to cut, but I don't. Oh, you won't have a lot of hair to cut because you're pretty much done, okay? And so I'm gonna stay, since I am on the left side here, I'm just gonna work my way this way and then I'm gonna work my way the other way, okay? And, but the haircut's pretty much done, you guys. It really is. It's just now a matter of checking it. If you had to go back right now and do your permanent wave, your haircut would be even enough to, um, to cut. So I'm gonna take my next subsection. So I'm gonna grab my guide in the center, bring my guide over to the piece of hair that I'm cutting. So the, my guide is coming, and the piece of hair I'm cutting is straight out from the head. So there's gonna be very, very little because you've mostly cut all of this already. Can you guys see that? Okay, and then you cut one. Lay the comb, fingers follow. Everything is straight off from the head. Two, lay the comb, fingers follow. Three, and then blend. And if it, it should be blended, if it's not blended, make it blend, okay? Then I'm take my next slice, about a one inch slice. I'm gonna bring my guide, so incorporate my previous guide. So I'm gonna bring my guide over to the piece I'm cutting. And the piece of hair I'm cutting is straight out from the head, so however the head is curved. So, there's my guide, one. Lay my comb, fingers follow, two, going with the curve of the head. There's my guide there. Three, there's a little bit right there. And I am holding my fingers straight out from the head. This one's not showing a very good picture. Let's see, there we go, let's try that. Okay, and then I'm going to continue to, on the left side. I'm going to slice, incorporate the previous guide. I'm going to comb the hair straight out from the head. And then, see all that? See all that dropped out? I have a little bit, my guide is underneath here. I'm just going to cut before the second knuckle. Don't cut past the second knuckle. Cut one, two, Lay my comb, fingers follow, three, and then it should be blended. Okay, and if it's not blended, make it blend. It's blended. So I'm going to continue working on my left side. I'm going to slice, incorporate my guide, bring it straight up from the head, get a little bit under my fingers. My, my fingers are straight up from the head. One, two, See how my fingers are parallel from the head? Three, and then blend. Okay, and if it's not blended, make it blend, but it is blended. Okay, so we have this last piece here. So instead of bringing it straight out, what I do is I have the students bring it back slightly because if we bring it back to here where the ear is, on, if we bring it back to here and use this piece for a guide, bring this piece back, it really helps to shape that, frame the face. It's really, it's, a, it's cool, but, so you see that little bit there, see how I brought it back, right? Where the highest part of her ear is, and I have a little bit right there. I'm gonna cut one, two, and then remember the curve, the crown, the curve, three, and then straight up for blend. And if it doesn't blend, make it blend, okay? And I'm gonna do the same thing for now, and then I have to go back to this side. So this whole side is cut, and now I'm going to work. Um, I'm going to work towards my right. So I'm going to get my guide in the center. My guide in the center, and I'm going to get a piece of new hair. So, but this time I'm going to bring the guide over to the piece I'm cutting. So my guide over. The piece of hair I'm cutting is still straight out from the head. So see how my fingers are parallel from my head? I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm going to go ahead and cut one. Remember the curve right here. Make sure it's nice and smooth. Two, so just a little bit under my fingers. And then three. And then one. Okay, and I'm gonna keep working. So slice, incorporate my guide. I'm bringing the guide over to the piece I'm cutting. The piece of hair I'm cutting is straight out from the head. And then there's my guide, there's my guide. There's my guide, there's my guide. 
and then curve, remember the curve. There it is, there's my guide. And I'm only taking half inch to inch subtargets, and that's why I can see my guide. Okay, and so I have my last piece, and just like the other side, I'm gonna get my previous guide, and I'm gonna bring this front piece back to where the highest part of the ear is, which is right here. And if I, if I measure it that, time, that way every time, okay. So see how my fingers are parallel to the head from the head? There's my little bit of guide. One, two, three, blend. Okay? If it's not blended, make it blend. Um, then if you have time, come back and just check her. If you have time. So I'm just going to show you guys. So it looks pretty good. Is pretty good. I would just blend that piece to that piece. But if you don't, you're fine. And the same, this it'll have the same amount on the other side, just that piece to that piece. And then she's done. So I'm gonna shut this off. That is the demonstration of a 90 degree safe board haircut.